pessoal! Hello, everyone! I'm Laura, and I help you to become fluent in Portuguese, even from zero, with music. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to learn Portuguese grammar naturally. Yeah, I know that's something a lot of you are struggling with. So today, we're gonna learn how to learn grammar naturally, okay? But before we get started, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. So the best technique for learning grammar is using a comprehensive approach. Yeah, a comprehensive approach. So you should not use one thing and only that, you know, choose one thing and use only that. No you should use this comprehensive approach. And my suggestion is that you use songs, music as a base, as a foundation. So how would you do that? You would use other resources too, but the songs would be your foundation for learning. It's all about making grammar a natural part of your language journey. I know that sometimes you're studying it, but you don't have a lot of time right now like you're a grown-up you're not at school anymore you don't live to study so we have other stuff in our lives and methods that allow us to study more easily in a funnier way they are better they, they make the learning process more efficient and that is what you get by learning using songs this is also good because you will learn from examples since many Portuguese songs naturally incorporate various verb forms, various conjugations, you know? So you will be exposed to different conjugations, different verb moods, just by listening and singing along to the songs. You will also internalize these patterns. When you listen and you repeat, you sing along, you, tr you start to memorize these patterns, you know, even though at first you don't know where to use this, how to use this, you start to memorize this internally. So, also, music can make the pronoun placement we saw there as a problem more intuitive. So, instead of trying to memorize the order, you will listen in the song, you will start to see how we frequently use the pronouns in different positions within the sentences. You will start to recognize those patterns and also you will be immersing yourself in Portuguese music. So you will subconsciously absorb the correct placement and it will sound more natural. Also, it's the same about the gendered nouns, you know, the feminine and the masculine song. By using songs to learn that, you will be little by little memorizing these words, memorizing which words I use with the article A because it's feminine, which words I use with O because it's masculine. It becomes a natural process instead of getting a list of words and trying to memorize all at once. That's impossible. Also, the rhythm and the melody makes it easier for you to remember these words. You know, this evokes memory, evokes emotion. Emotion is connected to memory in your brains. So, it will help you a lot. The same with the agreement rules. So, you will see it through repetition in the songs, you know? So, you will see how to use the right adjective, the right article, depending on the word, depending on the sentence. So, by regularly listening and singing Portuguese songs, you will internalize all of these rules. For the irregular verb, you will see them conjugated, okay, in different tenses, in different moods. And listening to this, seeing this in context, help you to demystify this usage. You know, you will see it in real life, how you could put it in a sense. So, I'll show you one example in practice now. This is something you only learn using songs, using these different methods, you know. And song is one of them, using this comprehensive approach. Take a look here. This song is called Velha Infância. Uh, it's by the band Tribalistas. So you can look it up later. I'm not gonna go through the whole song here. I just got here a piece 
and we're gonna learn grammar with this. Today we will not learn vocabulary and all the other stuff, we will learn grammar. At the first line here, a gente canta. E a gente canta in the song. E a gente canta. What is this a gente here? If you have watched my videos before, you already know that a gente is one way to say we or us, okay? So, the most formal way to say we or us is saying nós, but we can also use a gente. It's not incorrect to use a gente. You just need to know how to conjugate it. So, we conjugate nós and a gente differently, but there's nothing wrong in using a gente and we use it much more often than we use nós. In everyday conversation, we say a gente, we do not say nós. And you'll see here in the song, they're not using nós, they're using a gente over and over, over and over again. So, what is the conjugation for a gente? You will conjugate it as in the third person, as in ele, ela, você, that is the third person. So, it will end like this for the regular verbs. A gente canta. We sing. A gente canta. What if it was nós? You would conjugate it differently. Nós cantamos. Do not mix it up. Do not say. A gente cantamos. No. A gente canta. Nós cantamos. They have the same meaning, but they conjugate differently. And a gente is more informal. Okay, how will I memorize this conjugation? If you memorize this song, and it is much funnier to memorize a song than to memorize a conjugation, you will memorize the conjugation because they repeat this conjugation many times for many verbs. See here. E a gente canta, e a gente dança, and we dance, e a gente dança. E a gente não se cansa. And we don't get tired. A gente não se cansa. Here too. A gente brinca. We play. A gente brinca. A gente brinca. See how many times we already repeated the conjugation and with different verbs. This is how you memorize it, you know. Also, here's the possessive pronoun. Na nossa velha infância. In our. Nossa. Our. Old childhood. So, we use the nossa here before. This one. Seus. Your. Seus olhos. See here. The pronoun. The basic pronoun here is seu. Your. Or yours. But... Remember that we have the agreement rules. It has to agree with the noun. The noun here is olhos, eyes. So, olhos is in the masculine and in the plural. So, the pronoun has to be in the masculine and in the plural too. It has to agree. But instead of memorizing it, memorizing the rule, memorizing random examples, I memorize the song. Seus olhos, meu clarão, your eyes, seus olhos, it's in the plural, they both have to be in the plural. Meu clarão, my glare, my light, meu clarão, because clarão is in the singular, so I don't have to say meus clarão, no, meu clarão. Seus pés me abrem o caminho. Seus pés. Pés is feet. So it's in the plural. Pés. The singular. Pé. The plural. Pés. Okay? So when I'm using pés, the pronoun has to agree. So I'm not going to say seu pés. No. If it's only one foot. Seu pé. See, it's agreeing. Singular, singular. Masculine, masculine. If it's in the plural. Seus pés. Seus pés. In 
this previous example here, child. That's why we're using nossa, nossa. If it was a masculine word, for example, nosso caminho, caminho here, caminho, path or way, then you will have to be nosso because caminho is masculine. But see how you will start to like slowly you will absorb this you know right now you know that nossa infância this you will not say wrong anymore meu clarão for my meu seus olhos seus olhos so you will not learn everything with one song but if you start using songs in your learning process with time you will learn a lot of structures a lot of patterns with these songs and for me it's the best approach using these and using those other resources as something complementary you know do not use any resource alone try to complement it with other stuff you can also use for example flashcards so you can pick up vocabulary from the songs and create flashcards to memorize you can use it to memorize the conjugated verb. So you see a conjugated verb in a song, then you use it in flashcards. And you can even use the books, the apps, but just as something like for consulting, not as the main resource. You know, you will use all of it together. Okay, makes sense for you. I'm gonna leave in the description the link to this song. Okay, so you can start learning today. Also, I already have many lessons here in my channel using other songs where you can pick up the vocabulary and also the grammar. So if you need a help to get started, you can find many lessons here in my channel. So now you already know what is the best method to start learning Portuguese grammar. I hope you start to apply this in your study. My students use this, they love it. I've been helping them to develop a lot using this method. This is very effective. And as we wrap up today's live class, time flies here, but it's time to finish. Remember that learning Portuguese grammar can be natural and enjoyable, okay? It doesn't have to be such a tough process, you know, such a difficult process. It can be more enjoyable. Start applying this. If you have any questions, you can leave here in the comments too, and I'll help you. So thank you for joining today's class and if you enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more, okay? It will help me a lot. See you next time. Ciao, ciao.